So the Arion Scout is, a, is an aerial intelligence gathering platform and uh, it's for tactical purposes so it can be deployed within about two minutes. So show up to a location, uh, get it up in the air within a couple of minutes and get whatever type of aerial intelligence, uh, whether that be imagery, digital photographs, uh, video, um, you can also have different types of sensors on, on the screen as well. Max range is about two miles, so anything within a two mile radius and uh, you can go, actually you can go about as high as 1500 feet. What's really unique about, this, about the Scout is it uses a touchscreen map based user inter interface. So literally the Scout flies itself. All you have to do is tell the Scout where to go. So you'd be looking at a map on, on a screen, uh, click on the map and the Scout automatically flies to wherever you click. Uh, all of the environmental conditions like wind, um, it, it, it worries about that. All you'd have to do is tell it where to go and then you can focus on the imagery which is what you really care about. The Scout's an all-weather system so it'll handle, handle wind of up to 30 kilometers an hour. That's sustained winds of up to 30 kilometers an hour with wind gusts of up to 50 kilometers an hour. Uh, wind, uh, rain is not a problem. It'll handle, it'll handle heavy rains. Uh, also work in snow. It, it's uh, down to low temperatures all the way up to um, 55 degrees Celsius. The Scout has, a, has hot swappable payloads. So this, the, the payloads can be changed within about three or four seconds. So there's a daytime video still camera. So if you're looking to take okay. photographs, digital photographs that are all geo-referenced, you'd use that. It'll, that can also stream video down in real time. It has a video zoom 10x, which, has a, which is a video camera with a 10 times optical zoom. And uh, that's if you're looking for real time, high level of detail, such as on a shoreline assessment like we're doing today, uh, how big is the rock for, and you wanna, you wanna take a close look at it. It also has a thermal IR camera as well. Not only can it be quickly and easily deployed in the field, which is where, where you care about. You want, you want this system in the field. Um, it also has a number of built-in safety features. So for example, if there's a loss of communications, uh, the Scout automatically flies home and lands. Uh, if, if the battery gets low, not only does the Scout tell you the battery is getting low, but it knows exactly how long it will take to fly home from where it is uh, and safely land. So it will give you a, a threshold and it will automatically fly home, safely land before the battery runs out. Uh, the same, you can also put preset wind thresholds. So although, this, although it will handle winds of up to 50 mi miles an hour, if uh, you might have a safety, safety threshold that says if it hits winds of 25 miles an hour, we should fly home and land.